Grey skies, but a warm welcome for the Royal Yacht Britannia as she brings the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh into Copenhagen Harbour for the state visit to Denmark. The cannons of Hamlet's legendary palace of Elsinore thunder a 21-gun salute. And from the quayside, King Frederick and Queen Ingrid set out in the royal barge to meet their British guests. Private greetings first, then the barge heads for the quayside and the more formal public ceremony. A moment for which the Danes have been waiting and preparing for many long weeks. For their own royal family is immensely popular and the coming of Queen Elizabeth and her husband is regarded as a visit by well-loved relations. Queen Elizabeth steps onto Danish soil and King Frederick presents her with a bouquet of pale blue orchids. Danish King and British Queen move up the steps from the quayside. By the guard of honor wait 17-year-old Princess Margrethe, heir to the Danish throne. This is one of her first important state occasions and she watches while leading public figures of her country are presented to Queen Elizabeth. Now the royal procession to Amalienborg Palace and the ordinary people of the city give their own first welcome to the British guests. No nation in the world treats royalty with a more charming mixture of affection and respect. An affection which the Danish royal family has earned by its own democratic behaviour, above all during the German occupation. Naturally and sincerely, Denmark extends this affection to Queen Elizabeth and her husband, sensing at once that the young British couple share its attitude to the functions of royalty. So it's a happy Copenhagen that gathers outside the palace to wave a greeting to two popular families.